Hey, hey, welcome home. Thank you. Guys, it's good to be back. Mario is back. My in Rojo my, is back in my chest, Germany. And my chest is bigger. Yes. You, you can like, tell, right? Massive. Yeah. Yes. Everything. Yeah. Even your shoulders are just Yeah, the tricep, right now. like German food. It, it worked. It worked, yeah. Well, welcome home. Thank you. It's our first video back. Yeah. We were just catching up, and so I figured, why don't I just turn the camera on and leave? Start off where we left off. Every time yeah. Mario comes over, we're always doing a full skincare routine. Exactly. So today is going to be no different. I'm taking care of you because you had a long travel and now you're back home and I want you to feel nice and comfortable. Okay. And I guess we're gonna kind of catch up together. We were gonna ask you guys to send us some questions, but we already know what you guys are gonna send. Yeah. So we figured we can ask each other questions that are relevant for where we are right now and then just All right. do what Charu does. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. You go ahead and ask me whatever question you have. Oh, I have to start. Yeah. Now that you put the pressure on me, hey, I thought hey, hey, I thought I was gonna start. No, I just want to do it right. And if so I ask you the wrong question, I don't know, bro. This is like okay, 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 okay. So, what is the one thing that made your days darker while I was gone? I always miss your eternal optimism. No matter what mood I'm in, like you're always just like this positive force, and you're like consistently. Just like a positive force, and so it's like I always can count on your energy for being something that I know is gonna like lift me up. Yeah, bro, because you know Kanye West, what he said? What he said that worrying is like walking around with an umbrella w waiting for rain. Mm. Yeah. That's beautiful. It burns in my eyes. You are single now. How does it feel for you? How do you feel about that? Oh man, okay, it's getting real. Um, <clears throat> for me, going to Germany changed a lot of my perspective because it meant also, it represented going back to my life before when I was constantly traveling. And it made me realize how much I crave growth and new experiences. And unfortunately right now, I crave that more and I prioritize that over relationships sometimes. I'm so f***ing grateful for the experience I had because having a relationship, a girlfriend, added an aspect of my life I didn't know before. Also, I was so afraid of sexual experiences. Of course. Which now has been like a, was now not a thing I was afraid of, but like it added something to my life and it was beautiful. I mean, it sounded like it was a very valuable part of your life as yeah, well. I'm really glad you had like such a great experience. Like Christine is lovely as well. And like you guys also are very- And you know what I appreciate so much is that there's no hard feelings between us. We just realized that kind of together that I'm not in the position. So now we're like friends though, you know? Yeah, and, and I think it's so important once you have a person in your life that knows you so well, to still have a relationship with them is something very valuable. Yeah, we just finished your full application. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh man. So we're gonna just let that dry now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Feel dry. Yeah. Okay, good. I've been wondering when I left, how did you feel about me leaving? Uh, well, I didn't know. Um. <laughs> <laughs> How did I feel about you leaving? How do you feel I was about disappointed. Me okay. I also can step outside myself and see like what you need and you needed to get out of LA because I think you just felt so like trapped. But you like you left for like two months and so like, with no end date and like, there was a period where I thought that you weren't gonna come back and so that was stressful because obviously yeah. you're, like one of the most important parts of my life here in LA. What I also like though like that we worked through some negative stuff together as well you know with like the whole like depression quarantine but at some point i just felt like for myself i needed to just like step out of that and yeah also dude like i'm from i'm from a town of like lumberjacks you know and i'm used to you're from a small town in germany right <laughs> i don't know if you guys knew <laughs> one thing i want to add real quick it's called the black forest and uh, my aunt's a pastry chef by the way i didn't leave because of you i didn't leave because I don't, I don't think that. things were like, stressful with you not at no, all no, no no i just maybe subconsciously also felt like i needed some space for, from the relationship i was in to just be alone i'm I'm a lone wolf at heart still, you know, but I needed some time away wandering through the fields of the Black Forest and now, now you're back. Yeah, because like I said, you appreciate the things that you love when you when you leave and then come back. So yeah. yeah, and I just missed you. I just came from a place of like missing you. And also you were such a big part of like my depression, helping me through it. Like the most <laughs> Please add that. You were such a big part of my you depression. You were the reason why I was depressed. So many people thought that though. How are you doing now after going through the times of depression that you've been dealing with. It ended. 
it ended a couple of months ago and there was like that transitional time where I had to kind of come back to myself, which you knew about and I was just like super wrapped up. So like we didn't really get to talk so much when you were traveling abroad. No. It's because like life swept us both up with all these other things that we had going on. So we had yeah. a couple of good conversations. I gotta say one thing. I gotta f***ing add one thing. I'm sorry. When I'm seeing you in person, I feel like the love with you and the level of friendship we have, you know. When I was gone though and we're texting, I sometimes felt almost like more attached to you and I felt like I was sometimes getting insecure because sometimes you weren't answering my texts right away and I was like does he still like me at all? <laughs> and then I saw all the YouTube videos you were like making videos with um, the Brazilian, oh. with the Turkish, with the whatever you know Oh yeah. and then I was like oh well fine but it's so weird dude like you know how we talked about um, uh, attachment types and relationships and how there's like an avoidant and an, and a, an anxious Anxious. attached. I'm usually the avoidant because I like <laughs> push people away. I want to be so independent and stuff. I'm afraid when people get too close to me. With you for some reason, I felt more like I was the, uh, what's called anxious attached, anxious. you know? I was like, Travis, show me some love. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I don't ever want to make you yeah. feel that way at all. Like, yeah. I think you get such an intense dose of like, Travis, when I'm like with you, because I'm like, yeah. you get all of my attention. I get, oh, like, look at that, look at the, the everything. Yeah, you know? it's yeah. like I want to take care of you, and like, I love you, and that doesn't yeah. ever change. When people are not in, directly involved in my life, then it's harder to like have be able to give that same level of like what For I sure. normally give, so you're like... And I hate text, dude, because when you're texting, you know, you send a text message, and if you don't send 20 emojis, you think that person's pissed, you know? Oh, yeah. So it's like, but when I see you, I feel your energy, and it's so yeah. much, it's so much better. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Well, I'm sorry yeah. again, and I miss you. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Bro, I, it's almost it's almost there. You can see. Like, <laughs> you look crazy. <laughs> Here, if you want to get down, I'll give you your shoulder massage. <laughs> your face. You look crazy. You look like the Joker. Oh my God, bro. Are you see? Are you serious? Yeah, that's serious. Are you serious about this one? I know. Is it my turn or your turn to answer, ask a question? Uh, well, I know that there's one thing that's like the elephant in the room that I feel like you won't ask because you're too polite. I, I see the, I see it, man. What's the question? Like, okay, yeah, because I, I watch your content, obviously, I'm, I'm subscribed, I turn on post notification, and so should you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, what's up with, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I watched those videos, I was like, cool. Those seem like cool guys. The ones that I brought onto the channel? Yeah. First of all, where do you find those people? The streets of West Hollywood. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> both of those situations, they're both just friends that like we filmed the short films with. Yeah. I sh you saw the short films. I saw one of them, yeah. Oh, you didn't see the most recent one? No, I think I... Oh, oh f no, Help, bro. How'd you miss that one? <laughs> How'd you miss it? <laughs> I told you, I still wanna like, I still, I have the need to fucking wrestle you, and not like in a fun way, but like in an actual violent way. I wanna like, do, see you wanna who me up. Who do you think will win it if we did like an actual boxing match? Who would win? I think you'd deck my ass <laughs> to the floor. I, I think would. there's not a chance in hell. I think I would mind. really, like, really bad though. Yeah. I think it would destroy you physically, mentally, and everything. It's great. For the record, though, I'm not dating anybody. Yeah. Like they were friends. We were maybe like kind of feeling it out yeah. a little bit, but it was nothing. It, we were very, I very quickly realized that these were not people that I wanted to move forward with as partners. No hard feelings. It was just not exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> By the way, I love when your face looks like a vagina. <laughs> you look so much young and so fresh. Now it's growing back a little bit, but I like you better. You like it like this? I, no, I like it even less here. I like it when it's com when you completely clean shaven. What do you guys think? I mean, I feel like most people actually don't like the clean shaven face. No, so I love it. I you love guys it. can let me know what you think down below. I love it. It's more of the, the juvenile hair. Travis. The hair's going back. I like the long hair for you, and the sh uh, the clean shaven look. Well, you've heard it first here, folks. This is so cute. We should reenact it. We should make a re. We should make a reenactment of Edward <laughs> Tant. Don't you ever leave me again. <laughs> don't you ever leave me again. Don't do, don't do the kid like, uh, what's it called in English? Fuck, man. I feel like I've been in Germany too long. I have problems with English. the English language right now. All right, let's wash my face off. <laughs> <laughs> my face is so red. Is that normal? <laughs> I. This was not sponsored. 
<laughs> no, and don't use that. No, bro. I've no, never. Fun. It made me like, look like an elephant. I had fun, but it burns a little bit, and now my face is completely red. But um, yeah. Yeah, his face is very red. So we're gonna get put some soothing stuff on there to calm it down. Okay, okay. But um, yeah, I guess I just wanted to do this video just to kind of bring Mario back. So if you yeah. guys want to see anything coming up soon, I mean, maybe you can react to like my short film since you haven't watched it yet. I have never watched your full <laughs> short films, you know, because I, I was like almost kind of, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I hadn't felt ready. I always tell you that you, we have to <laughs> travel and get out of LA, so we're gonna get out of LA. And if, even if it's not gonna be like traveling far, we're just gonna get a nice hotel room and just get out and just journal, re, like, find ourselves. Mm -hmm. Do yoga in the morning, mm -hmm. do all the good shit. Okay. Maybe also like I can do, we can switch lives, you know? Yes. Where I'm gonna be, uh, you know, doing face masks, being in bed yeah. and stuff, and you can like, be living a life. do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mario's back, give him some love. I missed him, I missed this little f***ing guy. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and I guess yeah. that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And, and see you next time. And I'll see you next time. Yeah. Ha 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 ha.